going to put some red over here and then down on this side and over here and in his garment. Now you see I can use my fingers or you can come back and you can use the brush. Be free to do what you want to do. Just know that art is your interpretation and does not have to be copied. So now I've got the general feeling of that. I'll put a little bit of the red up here and a little bit on this side. And the next step, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have the fun of turning all these colors into a background that has a variation and has life. Keep it light next to King David's face. I know this looks like a mess at this point, but that's the fun of it. It's a free expression I'm teaching you. Not that you sit down there and make a precise copy but that you get the essence, the element of what you want to express. And Judaism is a feeling that you can have and you can express just as the wonderful artist Chagall did on these tapestries, which we're turning now into an oil painting. All right, now I got this started. And then the next step is to come back and work this in a little bit into his musical instrument. And then if you make it too dark, you can come back and you can have the fun of just changing it into uh, a lighter color. I now added some of that gold color, and I'll work that in here and there also, so that you too can see, with a minimum of effort, you can bring this whole thing to life. Next step, I'm going to put the um, area of cuff on the king right in here and over here, and all of this will come to life after when I have the darker accents. Now, it's about time to do that. So we're gonna go and mix a black. I'm going to take any three dark colors. That is the brown and the blue, and it even could have a touch of the red in it. And you will get a nice, dark, rich black. So, watch how this thing shapes up, because what I'm going to do next is put the crown on. There it is. And then after that, come back, put the nose, and outline the eye. After that, we'll come back here and put the lips on him. He's got a very pleasant smile. And then the beard. I'm going to use my finger and just make it a little bit of blue and then a little bit of yellow gives it the green that you will find in the original, which I'm going to place up here for you to see. See that beautiful green that he's got in the beard and the crazy blue hair? Well, all of those colors are significant of a love for beauty and color, just as he tried to portray as he was developing this wonderful symbol of religion and humanity and all of the beautiful things that are available to us. If we understand them, we can express them too through art. You can do it. The only thing you have to do is have a little bit of nerve to try to do it. And that's what I'm going to be doing every week in this series. This is the musical instrument that he's carrying in his hand. And there's a double line down there. And I'm just going to outline the back. See how it's coming to life? And you, too, can see that you don't have to be a genius. Just take it easy. And you will find, if you watch and see what you're doing and look and have a reference, go by the four basic steps. Now I'm going to put some hands in here. Well, that might scare a lot of people. Say, oh, I can't do hands. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Think of it as a block form or think of the relationship of one hand to the other. Now I'm just going to put a little thumb that goes out here and fingers that are here. He had a wonderful feeling for truth. And he portrayed that even though it was free and it looks like it's, it's done very freely. There is a great deal of truth in all the work that Chagall did. Now I'm putting the thumb on an angle here as if he's really holding on to that musical instrument and the lyre which he is playing and a little finger down in here on an angle. And there is a round form. Now I'm taking a rag, cleaning the brush off because I went from dark. Now I'm going to go much lighter. I'm going to put some white in and a touch of yellow and fill the hands in. He just made a round form like that. So it gives you the feeling of color in the hands. There are so many things that we can do, and you can perfect it as much as you want. But let's take a look and see somewhat of the background of the idea and where I got it from. This is the Exodus.